Hi guys, it's Chris with Daily Dose of DIY. Welcome to my channel. We're just a little bit cricket obsessed over here. I love to show you how to make fun crafts and learn how to conquer your cricket machine and make some great things. So today I'm going to show you actually using your phone, either your iPhone or your iPad, how you can get your own fonts onto Cricut because I know a lot of you don't have laptops, right, or computers anymore. So let's learn how to get our fonts and everything we need to design great things on our phones. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go to the App Store and we are going to get the free app called iFont. You can go ahead and just type in search iFont. When it brings it up, you're looking for the blue one with a white F. And then you want to go ahead and get that app. You might need to enter your passcode and everything, but it is free. While that's downloading, we are going to go over to dafont.com, D-A-F-O-N-T.com, and find a free font for us to download. I think I'm going to go ahead and choose this one here called Jackster. So we just scroll over and tap the download button and that will start the download onto your phone. You'll see a prompt pop up that asks if you want to download. Just go ahead and click on the blue download and then next we're going to click this little circle with the arrow next to the address bar. This will show us your recent downloads. Go ahead and tap on Jackster and that opens your downloads folder. You'll see that it is zipped. We need to tap on that zip folder and it will open a new folder right next to it that will be unzipped that we can use. Go ahead and tap on that blue folder to open it up and then at the top we want to tap on select. Next we're going to tap the font that ends in TTF and then the little square at the bottom with the arrow pointing up, tap on that and it will open this menu. In the menu, what we are looking for is to scroll over, hit the more button. We're looking for the iFont. There it is. We want to tap copy to iFont and that will open up the iFont app. In iFont, we want to tap that file at the bottom and then it will open up fonts that we have installed. Find Jackster, the one we installed, and tap install. Next, it's going to walk us through step by step on how to install fonts on your phone. You can go ahead and scroll through this, and then on the next screen, you might you want to tap allow. This will tell you the profile has been downloaded, and we can go ahead and close out of there. Wow, we've already covered a lot of steps to get fonts on our iPhone and I iPad, and we're not even done yet. There are about 16 steps total, and that's a heck of a lot to remember. So, I made you these two cheat sheets for free. If you look in the description below, you'll find a link that you can go ahead and grab them. They're easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions that you can pull out whenever you need them. Okay, let's continue on and open up our settings and get this font installed. Okay, next we need to go into our settings app and you'll see something there called profile downloaded. Click on that and then we're going to go to the top and tap install. You're going to need to enter your passcode here. And then we're going to want to tap install at the top again and then once again down at the bottom. You will see it says our profile is installed. You can go ahead and cl click done and then exit on out of there. If you go back into iFont, you'll now see our font is installed. You can go ahead and search the font you installed. There it is, Jackster. Uh, we don't need iFont anymore though. We can go directly to Cricut and if you have Cricut Design Space opened, you wanna make sure you go ahead and get that closed before you'll be able to see your font. So close Cricut, reopen it again, click on new project, and then we are going to go to text. This is something that's very important. If you just search for your new font, you won't see it unless you tap your system first. So make sure your system is tapped and then 
search your font and you will see it there. You can select it for use and it's ready to use in whatever project you have planned. Once again, check the description down below for the link to grab these free cheat sheets. I know I covered a lot of steps, but once you print these out, you will be good to go with, ever, with whatever font you find. Thank you so much for crafting with me today. I hope you learned everything you need to know to get those great fonts and designs on your iPhone and iPad. I can't wait to see what you're going to make. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more fun Cricut crafts and tutorials. I'll see you soon. Bye!